Hi, this is Miss McIntyre, and I know some of you've been having a little trouble getting ebooks. So I want to focus today on how you can get an ebook from Limitless Libraries. And there are three ways to get there. You could go in Schoology and click on Limitless in the library group. You could go in Clever and click on Limitless Libraries, or you could be on our web page and click on Limitless Libraries. So we're in my on our library web page, so I'm going to click on Limitless Libraries. And it's important when you get there to be sure you're in elementary school, not middle or high school, elementary school. And you want to click on downloads because you want to read this online. You want to get it on your computer. So I want to show you what's really cool about this. If you come down past the first set of apps, you see Kids Overdrive. I want you to click on that. And then you're going to see a lot of categories you can read. This is new books that they've just gotten in. These are Christmas and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa books because Santa Claus is coming to town at that time of year. So you can also scroll down. There's just lots of different categories you can explore. But I want to go back up because I really want to show you how easy this is. And this is a great story. And yesterday was the first day of Hanukkah. So I'm going to click on the miracle jar. Now, you can read about the miracle jar here. But if you know it's the book you want, oh dear. <laughs> it looks like it's checked out. So you could place a hold on it. And then you would be told when it came in. That's how we, we place holds, you know, when you want to get a book from our library. But let's go ahead and we're going to go back and try another one. Let's see. Oh, how about Oscar's Lonely Christmas? Okay, so now it says, do you want to borrow it? And we're just going to say yes, because this is just an example. I love dogs. So the first thing you have to do is put in your library card. Your library card number is your 190 number. Teachers have a shorter one because they're teachers, but you put 190 number there. And then you're going to put your pin in here. And your pin is your birthday, which is if you were born January 5th, it would be 01. That's January, the first month, 05. That's the fifth day of the month. And then you sign in. And it's asking you, you sure you want to borrow it? And I am. And it even lets you select how long you want to keep. But I'm going to just keep it for seven days. I'll probably finish it faster than that. It looks like a short book. Now it's going to ask you if you want to read with Kindle. Kindle is a tablet. But if you don't have a Kindle, what would you do? See where it says having trouble? You click right there and it says read now in your browser. That means you can read it on your computer screen. So I'm clicking on that option because I want to show you how easy it is to read on your computer screen. So here's the cover. And to make it open up, you come over to the right side and click. And you keep clicking until you get to the first page. There, oh, it's a chapter book. Wow, it's got eight chapters. Chapter one. Hannah took off her gloves and stuffed them in her pockets. The cold wind was stinging her cheeks, and she looked up at the sky, hopefully. Perhaps it would snow soon. It was only November, but it was so cold already. She reached into the tub of winter bird food and scooped out a big helping, scattering it over the bird table. And then she smiled to herself. She was sure she could hear some sparrows and coltits in the winter jasmine that was growing up the fence. They were scuffling about eagerly, waiting for her to go so that they could swoop in on the delicious mealworms that were their favorite part of the mixture. So, see, you just click and it keeps going through the pages. Now, there's something else cool. If you go down to the bottom, of the page and you click, it brings this up. That lets you look around. You can go all the way to the end or you can go back to the beginning. It lets you move around the text by moving the ball. So that's kind of cool too. Now, if when you're finished, 
you could just close Oscar. And if you came back to it later, it would open up to the same spot where you stopped reading. But I wanted to show you something else here. When you've checked a book out, if you go over to my account and we click on loans, it shows you, oh my goodness, look, guess who has the Miracle Jar still checked out? I hadn't turned it in yet. Oh dear. So there's the one we just checked out and looked at. And here's the Miracle Jar. So I've got this one checked out. Now if I want to, I can go ahead and read it. And it's such a sweet story. But when you're ready to turn it in, when you go back to my account and you see your loans, look under each one of those books, I can click return and I can return the title and then it's not there anymore. I'm going to return the miracle job because somebody else needs to get that book. It's so good. And I got this one, um, The Snowy Day, because I just love that book. And I'd read it several times already, so I'm going to go ahead and return it as well. Now, I have not finished Amelia Bedelia, so I'm going to keep it. And this one, I've read three times already, but I'm going to read it again because I love this story so much. I might have to share it with you, in fact. But that's how you check out a book and get a book to read in Overdrive on Limitless Libraries. I hope you'll try that out and use it because it's a good way to find a good book. So here we are back at the main library page and I want to show you I put up a new set of coding fun things. And I've gotten lots of comments back from some of you about how fun that is. And there's also this site, which has a lot of coding resources on it, including some Frozen and Princess stuff, which is awesome. So I want you guys to try some of that out, especially as the holidays arrive. And if you need a reminder on how to get curbside pickup, you can click here and you can go in and order books from our library and I will put them outside. Miss Rubin's here with me right now, and we can put them outside for you in a bag. And guess what? There will be a surprise in the bag as well. Something fun to do. So have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>